Hey guys, so now that we've fleshed out our game logic for tic-tac-toe, uh, let's just focus on all the things beyond that, so like polishing up the app, making it look a little nicer, and we'll add a intro screen, like a little splash screen, um, and we can have a button there which will bring us to our game. Okay, and since this is going to be the last video that I make for, um, for this series, I'm going to put the link to my GitHub for this project in the description, okay, so you guys can check out the the final code. Cool, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our pub spec YAML and we're going to add a few dependencies. Um, so I've already got it with me here, so we're going to add a Google Fonts, which is going to give access to some nice fonts um, other than this default one, and also an avatar glow, which I'll explain later on. Um, this is what we're going to use for our intro screen. Okay. And also, we also want to add um, some assets, okay? And I'm going to say li uh, library slash images, okay? So over here, if I come over here, um, in I have a little images folder, and in there I have a little um, tic-tac-toe uh, logo, okay? So in here you can put whatever picture you really like. Okay, but I'm going to put this in my library. And let's come back here, and let's say packages get. Okay, so let's come back to our main file. Okay, and I have already gotten these. Um, I already coded this in. Okay, so this is the these are the fonts that I want to use. So let's import this library. So basically, what these two variables are is they're essentially just text styles. Okay, and this press two p uh, press start two p. This is the name of the font that um, that I want to use. Okay, so I've just got a black version and a white version. Okay, so let's grab this guy and I'm going to go through and replace all the styles. Okay, and hopefully if I save, we can see what our new font is going to look like. And yep, there it is. So you can see why I chose this font, uh, font specifically because it kind of gives like a like an arcade type feel since we're playing a game. Okay, and I think, yeah, I think that looks pretty nice. Cool, so now that that's done, let's add an intro screen. Okay, so I'm gonna have to make a new file and let's call this homepage.dart homepage and I'm gonna copy our homepage class into yeah, so let's import a material design first, and we're gonna um, put our home page class in a separate file. Okay, let's just go through and import the libraries we need to import. Okay, and everything should be working fine. Let's import this home page as well. Cool. Okay, so if you save it, nothing should change. Okay, everything's the same. So I just separated it out so it's easier for us to manage the code at the very beginning. Okay, now for this intro screen, um, it's not too complicated, so I'm just going to copy and paste uh, what I made in, and I'll just explain my code. Like I said, I'll link my GitHub in the description so you can check this out a little bit in more detail. But if I save this, what I've done is, is I made a splash screen like this, and basically this is just a big column with a text widget at the top, and that's the logo that we put in earlier. Okay, some text widget and just a button. Okay, so just real basic things. And the um, the extra fancy thing that we added was that avatar glow. Um, if I can find it, this one here, avatar glow. Okay, so it's just an image that's wrapped in this avatar glow that we. Um, that we imported here, and what this one does is it gives you this glow effect. Okay, so it kind of feels like your app is uh, is alive. Okay, so you guys can tweak some of these numbers to um, tailor it to your liking. But yeah, hopefully you guys get a good understanding of just how basically you can make uh, a nice production app. Okay, and the last thing is when you click this button, this is the only thing you can click on this whole screen. When we click this button, we want to go to the next page. Right, so I've just added a gesture detector. 
okay, so that this container is tappable. And when you tap it, this is the piece of code that we need to go to the next page. Okay, so navigator.push, um, the context, so where are we right now? And this material page route is going to take us to our home page. Okay, so you can change this to be whatever page you want to go to. Okay, but for us, if I click this, we're going to go to our home page and then we can start playing our game. Okay, now one thing I just realized is this color um, is different from uh, this one here. So let's just make this a little bit darker. And I think I think that should be it. So here, let's say, what does 900 look like? Yeah, so it looks like the front and back is now the same color. Cool. Um, thanks for watching this series, guys. I hope it was of some uh, help, especially for some beginners. Okay. And yeah, that's it. Like I said, I'm going to put this link in the GitHub so you guys can check out the code in a lot more detail. All right. Cool. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.